Today, I'm going to be showing you how to enable and turn on facial tracking or face tracking within Roblox. So here we are on the Roblox website. This is the easiest and most convenient way of doing this. And here on the Roblox website, roblox.com, make sure you're logged into your account. Once you're here, you want to go to settings. Now, now once you're under account settings, you need to make sure that you are of 13 years of age or older to make sure that this works. So as you can see here, I'm on my daughter's account and she is not uh, available to access things that are for 13 years of age or above. So make sure that that is the case for you. Uh, it doesn't have to be verified. The age does not have to be verified. It just needs to show as that you are 13 years of age or older. And then once you're done with that, what you want to do is go to privacy under my settings. And then under privacy, you're going to see something here that says camera input. So right here where it says camera input, you want to make sure that this is not grayed out. You want to select this over to the right. And once you do that, it'll say, are you sure you want to enable the camera? It'll follow your movement, let you kind of know what you're doing here and just click on enable. Now it's going to be ticked over to the right and it's going to show as green. Once you've done this, you now want to go to your avatar. So if we click on over to avatar, you can see now that the only faces or, you know, I guess you would say head parts of the character or avatar here, the ones that are available for this will have a little smiley face or a little winky face on the avatar head. So as you can see here, this avatar head has that little icon in the lower left hand corner, letting me know that this is going to be able to use face tracking once I am in an experience that this is available or enabled. So once you've selected and changed your avatar to a, a thing that it's going to allow it, what you then want to do is go over to your experiences here on Roblox and find one that basically has face tracking enabled. So I'm using one called camera face hangout. And what you want to do is once you're here on the experience page, you want to scroll down to where you see something here where it says communication. And you want to make sure that the microphone and camera shows up under communication, letting you know that this server or experience or game uh, will have access to your camera. Go ahead and click play. It'll then open up the Roblox game client and we'll go ahead and boot you into that specific game. Now, once you've logged into the game, you're going to see something here, the camera with a red line through it. If you select or click on that, that is now going to turn on and enable the face tracking within this specific game. As you can see here in the upper left-hand corner, uh, I can drag that around. It shows my face. If I ever want to turn that off, I can click the camera icon and it disables face tracking. A couple of things that I have noticed is that you first and foremost need to hit the escape key on your keyboard and go to settings once in the game here and make sure that you scroll down and the video camera is the correct camera that you want to use. This will not work if you have say default camera and the camera that you want to use is not available. So make sure that that camera is correct. Make sure you go into settings here, hit escape, go to settings and make sure the camera is selected that you want to be selected. And then as you go and you zoom in here, you can see the face tracking and voice tracking here is fairly good and it's better in specific experiences than it is in others. But again, if you want to enable face tracking, make sure you adjust your avatar that's available for face tracking. Go to an experience that has it enabled uh, and you are good to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to put those in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.